If you live in my neighborhood near the beach, this is a typical scene of me hauling some old piece of furniture into the house. It's my happy place. All right, let's talk about the overall design game plan of this chair. We're gonna start with chalk paint, my fave, especially Annie Sloan's chalk paint in graphite. I love the matte finish, and I especially love the fact that there's zero, zero prep when it comes to painting furniture. That means no stripping, no sanding, and no priming. That's the best. No wonder why it's so popular. So that's what we're gonna do first, and then we are gonna upholster. For the upholstery of this chair, I am going to reinterpret and update this fabric collage pillow that I made many years ago and make it into the backing of this chair using a image transfer hack. You're gonna use something called Artist Gel Medium available at any craft store. You're going to spread about a medium heavy layer onto the front of any laser printed copy. Inkjet copies don't work, they start to bleed, so don't make the mistake that I did. You're gonna turn it print side down onto the fabric. The next step is to let this dry, probably overnight. Then I'm gonna take a regular sponge and some water, wet the back of the laser printed image. And what you're basically doing is you're removing the paper pulp and leaving behind the laser ink, which is already transferred onto the fabric. I love gel fabric transfer so much. I use it to make a custom slip cover for my fireplace mantle. It's a great idea for you renters out there. And because the original fireplace was plain Jane, white on white, absolutely featureless, it kind of disappeared into the wall. The trick is to use a large roll of artist canvas for a no sew slip cover. And then I just customize it with gel transfer images Now with my trusty electric staple gun, a great investment, uh, I highly recommend for something like this. I built up layers of support for the back of the chair. It includes fabric, batting, and some upholstery strapping, all stapled in. And now we're ready to finish off the chair. And then it's on to the next. Now you're just gonna cut off the excess fabric and hot glue the trim. And I found some vintage trim I liked from Etsy.com. One way to add character and depth to a small space is by making a one-of-a-kind chair just like this that reflects your true personality and all the things that you love and that no one else will have. Personality trumps the lack of square footage every time. I'll see you next Saturday with some more fresh ideas for your little nutshell.